On this edition of Inside More, we'll look at how Moore Public Schools is tackling the construction of a new junior high stadium. And we'll show you an easy way to pay your utility bills. Plus, we'll take a look at a brand new PSA for the Moore Animal Shelter. That's all coming up right now. may have seen a lot of construction just off I-35 at the Central Junior High Stadium. Only a few months earlier was the groundbreaking ceremony, and almost as quickly as the old facility was deconstructed, a new stadium has risen in its place. Several contributors have chipped in to modernize the stadium from the ground up. Nike Corporation and Kevin Durant uh, came on board, and obviously with Nike being an athletic uh, equipment provider, they were excited about it, as was Kevin Durant. Uh, and later, the International Jewish Federation uh, came on board and uh, donated some money for that. And I think between the three of them, this was a project that they all had a lot of energy for. And so the money was put together. The old stadium seating was broken down and hauled off to make room for new seating and a bigger and better field house. These new facilities were designed to keep up with Moore's booming school population, growing with the city around it. The inception of the field is, was back in the early 60s, so you know it's been there for quite a while. It was relocated one time to accommodate I-35, the realignment of I-35. Other than paint and general maintenance, there's been no major remodel of that facility for you know, the past 35 years. And take it from these cubs, the old field house has a few, well, cosmetic problems. Tell me, what was your old building like? It was really old and smelly. It was going to be a lot more space and maybe go, I don't know, bring more players because it's brand new. Probably going to have uh, new lockers, probably better lockers, uh, showers. There's not really good bathrooms in there, but yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm Better. glad about the new building, so. This brand new facility will have everything an athlete could want. Modern architecture, clean locker rooms, and most important of all, air conditioning. <laughs> That'll be a big deal, having an air conditioning, a new weight room that's going to be more spacious. Uh, our boys are going to have just a more bigger locker room area for them to, uh, to just not feel so cramped. Uh, our coach's office will be a lot more functional for us to have good meetings and things like that. but. Uh, just, just an upgrade big time in every way you could imagine. So, good, around. good, good. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Our, our locker room last year flooded really bad, and it was, uh, you know, pretty dated and stuff. And so, uh, we, uh, we just, we've needed this for a while. But uh, after the flood last year, after the, the second storm hit the city, we, uh, we really needed a new place to go. And so, we're thankful for all the the donors and uh, the people have helped get this done. It's going to be a great thing for our boys. You know, the school system has needed something to happen there for the last three to five years, primarily. The bottom half of the stadium had been uh, deemed uh, unusable, and so they weren't even be able to use the underneath side of the facility. Uh, visiting teams were, were basically dressing at the bus and holding their halftime at the end, the end zone, and so uh, they've needed this for quite some time. Any major project comes with its own specific challenges, and in this case, it was Oklahoma's turbulent weather. Since the project was put on hold when the storm happened, not all of the plans came out at one time, so we have built, built it in stages, uh, or in phases, and then we've had some summer rain that has uh, uh, not necessarily set us back yet, but uh, has has slowed us down a bit. But those are the biggest challenges, was just uh, having all the plans on board so you could look at the project in a holistic manner and then uh, managing the project around the weather conditions that we have here in Oklahoma. Absolutely, I mean, as always, there's always weather and unforeseen things, but it's been really amazing to watch it go up so quickly. And, and we're hoping that it'll all be done by September 2nd when we kick off home here against uh, Edmond, uh, Edmond Summit. C -G -G I anticipate that we will have the first football game there on September the 2nd. So we will have accomplished the project in approximately 10 weeks. We're the ball. We're the ball. 
One of the biggest changes will give the community a sense of pride, uh, the way the way the facility is going to look uh, aesthetically from the highway uh, and the way the, the, the kids are going to feel about it. It's going to give them a sense of pride of a place where they're going to be uh, playing their games and uh, their friends and family are going to be watching them play in a first class facility uh, that I think is going to instill a bunch of pride in the community along with uh, give everybody that passes along I-35 a sense of uh, first class uh, facility for the public school in the area. New homes, new roads, new parks, new schools, new safety center. It seems that more is bursting at the seams with brand new facilities. And now the new Central Stadium will be another proud symbol of Moore's growing community. Cut more hair. I would hang out with my boyfriend. I'd spend 15 extra minutes with my kids. Watching TV. I would spend more time with my grandchildren. I'm a teacher, so I would probably get a little bit extra sleep, maybe read a book for myself. I save 15 minutes every month paying my bills online. It's super easy, it's um, quick, uh, and it's free. Paying your utility bills at City Hall Customer Service Center is usually a smooth and easy process. But sometimes, it's just faster to pay online, especially when there's an auto pay feature. We'll show you how easy it is to pay your utility bills online. You just go to our City and More website, www.cityandmore.com. On the right side of the homepage, there's a, a link that you click on that says Pay Bills Online. If you aren't already a member, click Member Registration and input your email, name, phone number, and password. An email will be sent to you with a link to access your account. To register your uh, utility account, it's going to ask for your utility account number, and then it's going to ask for the last payment made. And once you do that, you're set up, and you'll be able to view your account and pay it. We only accept Visa, MasterCard, and Discover currently on the online bill pay at this time. You can also pay from your checking account. There's a link that you can click on and that will bring up a form that we require in order to draft from your utility account each month. To fill out the form, you will need your address, utility account number, phone number, your financial institution and the address where it is located, and your routing and checking account number. For a checking account, you will need to include a voided check and you can bring that by the office, you can mail it in, put it in our night deposit. You'll still receive your bill and your payment will draft on the due date. There's also an option to receive your bills electronically through your email. Simply click the sign up for e-billing link under the online services. Put in your email address and confirm it. Paying your utility bill online is simple and time efficient. The only question now is what will you do with the 15 minutes you saved? Reading a book or doodling on the iPad. <laughs> Visit with friends. I think I'd spend more time with my grandkids. Just take it easy, watch TV. Well, what we would all do here, we would sew something, or better yet, embroider on something to make for our loved ones. That extra 15 minutes of sewing time is very important. Play with my friends in the neighborhood. What would you do? Play with my friends in the neighborhood. <laughs> What would you do? Play with my friends in the neighborhood. There you have it, City of Moore. Enjoy your extra 15 minutes.